Hello, my name is Emily and I am a librarian here at the Brownsburg Public Library in Brownsburg, Indiana. Welcome to Storytime Shorts. Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Storytime Shorts. Our goal is to provide some fun things to do with your little one that also helps support early learning, and this is all geared for kids ages 0 to 5. We are talking about the weather today. Weather are the conditions outside that make us feel hot or cold, that let us know that it is sunny, it's raining, maybe it's windy or snowy or storming or just cloudy outside. Noticing the weather helps us know what to expect when we go outside and helps us know how to dress so that we can stay comfortable. Observing the weather is also another way of fostering our scientific curiosity as well as our general knowledge about the world. I have three songs, three book suggestions, and a craft idea for us today. And as always, there is a table of contents in the description of this video, so if you want to skip or revisit any of the activities, you can get to them easily. So let's start with a classic song about the weather. You might already know this one. It is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Oh, it is one of my favorites. So when we do the hand motions, we do the spider and the rain, it works on our hand dexterity and motor skills. And the song itself actually tells us about how weather works. When it rains, things get wet, and then the sun comes out and it dries things off. So it helps us know a little bit more about the world around us. To keep it fresh for older kids, we're going to do some different variations, and you can even make up your own. But we're going to start with the first classic verse, okay? Are you ready with your spiders? Okay. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Nice job. Okay, can we do the very quiet spider? It's the same hand motions, but we're going to sing very quietly. Okay. The very Quiet spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the very quiet spider went up the spout again. Nice job. Whew, that was good. Let's see, can we do the great big spider we're going to use our entire hands as the great big spider and we're going to use a great big voice okay the great big spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the great big spider went up the spout again. Whew, nice job. Let's do one more. Let's do the very fast spider. Can you do it really fast? Okay. The very fast spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the very fast spider went up the spout again. Whew, that was fast. Our next song is called Rain is Falling Down, and this one we're going to use a scarf to imitate the weather. Now, for this song for babies, you can use your fingers or the scarf to kind of tickle down their body, and we'll do a, a verse where we play peekaboo. Babies are hardwired to notice faces, so this is one that will really get them engaged. For older kids, Follow along with me. We'll make the rain and we'll make clouds to hide behind. We'll make the snow fall down, okay? So if you need to, right now you can pause the video, grab a light scarf or a bandana, a washcloth or a tissue will even work, whatever you've got at your house. You can pause it now and come back right back. 
Okay, do you have your scarves? All right, we're gonna start with rain is falling down. We're gonna make the scarf act like rain falling down. Rain is falling down, splash. Rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter, rain is falling down, splash. Nice job. What about sun is peeking out? So we're gonna have our cloud come by and peek out. Sun is peeking out, peek. Sun is peeking out, peek. Peeking here, peeking there. Sun is peeking out, peek. Oh, nice job. Okay, so snow very quiet and falls very softly so you can throw your scarf up into the air and softly catch it like snow okay snow is falling down Shh. snow is falling down Shh. falling here falling there snow is falling down Shh. For our last song, I got my ukulele out, so we are going to do a classic tune, a traditional song that was recorded by Raffi called Mr. Sun. And so if you still have your scarves, you can just dance along with me, all right? Very good. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Are some fun books that go along with our weather theme. The first one I'd like to share today is called Boom Boom. It's by Sarvinder Neighborhouse and illustrated by Margaret Chose Irvine. And it's very simple. There's only two words per page and it shows the weather throughout the seasons. So it starts boom, boom. Oh, look at all the children. I wonder what's happening. Flash, flash, look, there's a thunderstorm. Oh, he is scared. Oh no. Flash, flash. <gasps> drip, drip. They're going outside into the rain after the storm. And splash, splash. Oh, isn't it fun to play in puddles? So they go through each word has to do with things that are happening with the weather bloom bloom the wet the uh, flowers are blooming because it's getting warmer and we go through the seasons and at the very end there's snow so this is a really great one to share uh, both about the weather and about seasons the next thing i'd like to share with you is actually a series of books so here is sunny days and they are all by the same two authors Deborah Kerbel and Mickey Sato. And so there's sunny days, there's also snow days and windy days. And the newest book, Rainy Days, is coming out April 19th of 2022. So that is coming up soon. 
Um, so here in Sunny Days, you can see they have just beautiful illustrations made of like cut paper, and there's also um, needle and thread and fabric samples. And it's just simple um, rhymes that talk about all the different ways in which the sun, uh, we see the sun. So morning sun, golden skies, softly waking sleepy eyes. There's the, the morning sun coming into the window. We've got shining sun, beaming bright, makes a cozy patch of light. So kind of the way the sun comes through and it patches, and it goes through, there's spring sun, there's summer sun, and so it's kind of a different uh, exploration of sunny days. And I really love in the back of each of the books, it has some um, science experiments or things to observe about sunny days, as well as a little sun safety tip. Um, so each of the books have these things that you can do to extend your scientific curiosity. The last book I'd like to share is a nonfiction book. So this is uh, not a storybook, but it's set up for younger kids as well. It's called What's the Weather? It's by Shelley Rotner. There's a lot of great photographs in this one. And again, it's a very simple way of exploring weather. What's the weather outside? Is it hot or cold? Sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, or windy? Weather affects all living things. Depending on where you live, weather is always changing day to day and season to season. So great illustrations, great photographs, and a very simple informational take on the weather. Weather and seasons are things that all children experience and can relate to, and that helps nurture their interests. So use their experiences to help talk about the science behind weather, like why it rains. And of course, we don't always know all the answers, even as adults. So that's why it's great to come to the library and check out informational books that help you learn along with your child and answer some of those scientific curiosity questions, uh, which helps build general knowledge and gets kids ready for further learning. Here's a weather craft you can try at home. All you'll need is a plain white paper plate and a wood clothespin, some crayons or markers or other things to draw with, and you can make your own weather wheel. So you can observe the weather each day and mark what it's like outside. So draw um, quarters or you could do fifths if your child would like to do more than four kinds of weather and talk to them about what are some of the things that they see outside. Usually you can see sun, maybe clouds, rain or storms, snow, maybe wind might be another one that you put on there. Um, give them the sections and then they can draw whatever they like to represent that kind of weather. And then each day you can put your clothespin on the section that it's like outside. So that'll remind you to take a look outside and observe the weather. Thanks again for joining me for Storytime Shorts. I hope you found some fun things to do with your little one. Keep reading and we'll see you next time.